Hello, I'm Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm reviewing Derek Wheatley's novel, The Silent Lady, brackets Mona Lisa, close brackets. It's an interesting book by Derek. I headed it a telltale wink, or was it, when I wrote the review. Because what this book is about, it's a, it's a crime thriller. And I've said that crime readers, real and uh, fictional, will actually like this type of book, it's an excellent little novel, for their spare time reading. It's a one-off non-murder, basically, and it's just the sort of thing for your briefcase whilst waiting for your matter to come on in court or on the long journey down to court. It's also a fictional crime book for lawyers who like the fine balance of legal argument pursuing a case through the different eyes of the leading players, the people who've actually taken part, and you've got all of them represented here. I'm not going to tell the story in any detail, because it's worth reading in its own right. It's actually based on a true case which Derek uh, dealt with uh, on instructions when he was a younger man at the bar. The question is about intention. The lady didn't say anything. The evidence looked overwhelming. But you make your own mind up. What uh, Derek Wheatley does is he gives the clear impression that the prosecution did not get up to the standard of proof required. It's terribly important to remember this case was heard at a time where the penalty for murder was death. Therefore, it was an important case from a very large number of points of view. The end product, of course, is that Miss Earle, the character in this case, was sent to Broadmoor. But there is, in fact, a law report to go with this case. If you look at the back of the book, you can find the law report quite easily because there's a name there which will indicate what the case is. So what I'm saying is, yes, Derek Wheatley blends the ingredients here very well into a good read. It's an interesting book also for the individual to read on their own. But the one question that is going to be in everybody's mind is, well, did she do it or didn't she do it? Well, I was travelling down to the West Country on a case, I was busy reading a book, and a traveller opposite me had seen it and was, we were having a talk, and he said, well, I think she did it. I actually kept my own counsel on this. I, I thought, well, I like reading a book, but I was interested to see what other people's views were. Um, I then actually told the traveller, look, this is actually a true story. And in fact, she did go to Broadmoor. Um, he said, well, do you think when, he, when she actually winked at Derek at the end of the trial, whether that was in a wink of uh, well done or... Yeah, you pulled it off for me, or what do you think it was? Well, make your own mind up. I know what I think, but I'm not saying. Do have a good read of it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.